Factoring. Factoring is a sale of accounts receivable on a without recourse, notification basis. In a factoring agreement, an entity sells the accounts receivable to a bank or finance entity called a factor. A gain or loss is recognized for the difference between the proceeds received and the net carrying amount of the receivables factored. Okay. To illustrate yung factoring, Ayan, meron tayong illustration dito. Okay. Ito yung entity, ito yung bank or finance entity or yung tinatawag na factor. Okay. Si entity, sa statement of financial position niya, meron siyang cash, receivables, other assets, and meron din siyang liabilities. Let's say si entity, kulang ang pera niya para ipambayad ng mga liabilities niya. <clears throat> Kulang siya ng pera kasi yung receivables niya is hindi pa niya nakokolekta hanggang ngayon. So, para mabayaran yung mga liabilities niya, ang gagawin ni entity is ipa-factor niya yung accounts receivable sa finance entity. And yung in return, after factoring, si bank or finance entity or yung factor is bibigyan ng cash si entity. Then yung cash na marireceive niya is pandagdag para ipambayad ng kanyang mga liabilities. Ang factoring of accounts receivable is a sale of accounts receivable. Meaning, nagbebenta ng asset, particularly accounts receivable, si entity sa bank or sa finance entity. And ang factoring of accounts receivable is without recourse and notification basis. Doon muna tayo sa notification basis. Ibig sabihin ng notification basis is notified ang customer na ang accounts nila is nag-undergo ng factoring. Meaning, instead na sa entity sila magbabayad ng kanilang accounts, ang customer ay dediretso na sa bank or sa finance entity upang magbayad ng kanilang accounts. And remember, ang factoring of accounts receivable is sale of accounts receivable. Meaning, kapag nagbenta ng accounts receivable si entity, nawawala na siya ng rights tuon sa accounts receivable. Hindi niya na yan asset. And magiging asset na yan ni bank or finance entity. Ang without recourse na sinasabi dito, meaning kapag hindi, what if hindi nagbayad yung customer na finactor ni, ni entity kay bank? May karapatan ba si bank na habulin yung entity? Wala. Kasi si bank na ang in charge sa pagkokolekta ng accounts receivable na finactor ni entity. And, ang without recourse, ibig sabihin, na-avoid ni entity yung possible na liability niya kay bank once na hindi magbayad yung customers na finactor niya doon sa bank or sa finance entity. Ibig sabihin lang ng without recourse is kapag hindi nagbayad yung mga Accounts, o yung mga customers ni entity doon sa mga receivables na finactor niya kay bank hindi na pwedeng habulin ni bank si entity para doon sa amount na hindi nakolekta dahil ang factoring of accounts receivable is without recourse na notification basis wala ng second liability si entity once na hindi nagbayad yung mga customers under doon sa accounts receivable na finactor niya kay finance entity. Ang factoring may take form of the following. Una, yung casual factoring and yung pangalawa, factoring as a continuing agreement. Casual factoring. Casual factoring, it is an ordinary sale of asset. So, meaning para lang nagbenta ng asset si entity kay bank or kay factor. It is an ordinary sale of asset, meaning cash proceeds less the book value of asset sold equal sa gain or loss on sale. Kasi ang casual factoring is an ordinary sale of asset lang. Okay, we have sample problem and sagutan natin itong sample problem. Lock company is bothered about its cash position as collections of Receivables are delayed and its obligations are currently maturing. So, delayed na yung collection 
nila company nagmamature na or due date na ng kanyang mga obligations. Nahihirapan na siyang magbayad ng kanyang mga liabilities. On December 31, the entity has the following accounts. Accounts receivable, 500,000. Allowance for doubtful accounts, 30,000 pesos. Because of its critical cash positions, the entity factored its accounts receivable for 400,000. Ibig sabihin lang nun, casual factoring, ordinary sale of asset, binenta ni entity yung kanyang accounts receivable sa factor or sa bank or sa finance entity for 400,000. Required, prepare the journal entry or prepare the entry to record the factoring of the accounts receivable. Okay. Factoring of accounts receivable. So, ordinary sale of asset. We have to compare the cash proceeds versus the book versus dun sa book value of asset sold. Cash proceeds is 400,000. Yan yung amount na binigay ni finance entity kay lock company nung finactor niya yung accounts receivable. Less the book value of accounts receivable which is the asset sold. Accounts receivable 500,000 less the allowance for doubtful accounts Add that, 30,000. Therefore, the book value of accounts receivable is 470,000 pesos. Ang nareceive niya ay 400, pero ang book value ay 470. Therefore, yung difference na 70 is loss na 70,000 pesos. Mas mali, mas malaki yung na, yung naku or mas malaki yung book value ng accounts receivable ni entity which is ine-expect niya na makokolekta niyang receivable at 470. Pero since na siya ay nasa tight na cash position, finactor niya yung accounts receivable for 400,000 lang. So, yung 470 na supposed to be marireceive ng finactor niya, 400 na lang yung bumalik. So, yung 70 hindi niya na nakolekta. So, yan na yung loss nung Factoring. So, instead na loss, sabi kasi dito, ang casual factoring is an ordinary sale of asset. Instead na loss on sale lang ilalagay natin dito, ang gagamitin nating term is loss on factoring. 70,000 pesos. To record the journal entry, debit cash for the amount na na-receive, which is 400,000 pesos. Debit allowance for doubtful accounts, 30,000 pesos. Ang allowance for doubtful accounts is credit ang normal side. Since na binenta na natin yung accounts receivable or binenta na ni entity yung accounts receivable by cash while factoring, ikuklose na natin yung corresponding na allowance for doubtful accounts. Kaya siya ay debit. Credit accounts receivable for the book value or for the amount of ng accounts receivable, 500,000. And yung loss on factoring is, since na siya ay loss, siya ay sa debit. Loss on factoring na 70,000 pesos. 500 total credit The total debit is 70 plus 400, 470 plus 30, 500,000. Ang casual factoring is an ordinary sale of asset. Pero sa factoring ng accounts receivable, instead na loss on sale ang gagamitin natin, loss on factoring ang ginamit natin na term for the factoring ng accounts receivable or ordinary sale of accounts receivable.